Thank you for coming um, on this brisk Saturday morning. Um, has everyone got an information sheet? Great. Um, okay. I'm the director of this show. Um, with me, I have Cindy, who's my assistant director. I have Sean Pell, who's the vocal director, and Ben, who's the musical director. Um, so today, what we'll be doing is just telling you a bit about the show, what we're looking for on audition day, what's going to happen on audition day, and, and a bit about um, a bit about the show as well. So yeah, okay. So, um, if you don't know the show Oliver, it's set in Victorian England. Um, it's about a small orphan boy who uh, he starts <coughs> off in a workhouse and makes his way to uh, London, um, where he's taken in by with a den of thieves from uh, with Fagin uh, and taught to pickpocket. He's wrongfully accused of a crime and. And uh, yeah, and uh, ends up ends up finding family uh, with with someone. So um, the dates of the show are the tenth of September to the third of October. Now that's every Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday for those four weekends. So Friday night is an eight o'clock show, Saturday night's an eight o'clock show, and Sunday's a two p.m. matinee. Um, I should have told you a bit about myself first. I'm sorry about that. Um, this is my third time directing for the Players Theatre. Um, I've been involved with the theatre for uh, 17 years. Um, Oliver was my first show with the Players Theatre. So I'm excited to actually do the other side of it this time and direct it. Um, yeah, so... Uh, and I'm, I'm just, yeah, looking forward to putting my spin on it as well. So, um, Cindy, do you want to tell us a bit about your turn? Yeah, um, I've been involved with the Players Theatre since the mid-90s, more or less. Um, this is my very first uh, show with Sister Directing, and I'm so glad to be participating. I feel very privileged to be able to learn from these guys. Um, yeah, I'm just here to do whatever my wonderful director wants me to do. Um, if he tells me to go do something,
morning, guys. Uh, my name's Ben. Uh, my first show at the Players Theatre is got 2001. Uh, Rob Elizabeth. It's good to see the male lead from Rob Elizabeth here today. Uh, I've done probably, what, Dan, what, 15, 20 musicals in that time? Um, I've conducted a number of them, uh, most recently being the producers with Dan, uh, which is the best show ever. Um, so my background is instrumental. So I've, in all those musicals, only been on stage once and it terrified the living pants off me. Uh, never to be repeated again because I was so bad. Um, most of my time's in the pit, so with all the musos, putting the band together, working the band. Um, outside theatre, I uh, was the director of the Port Macquarie Town Band for a couple of years, and the last six years I've been the driving force behind the New South Wales Air Force Cadet Music Spring. So I'm, I've got a 60 piece concert band and now a 20 piece choir that uh, works pretty well together. So you get 60 kids, never work together, and you get them for eight days, uh, sorry, eight days, 12 hours a day. This is an interesting time. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool, that's enough about me. Okay, now back to it, and I'm sorry I took that brief tangent there. Um, yes, yeah, so as you'll see on your, your sheets there, I've put the, sh the key, key show dates. So rehearsals will start on the 16th of June. Um, this gives us roughly about 28 rehearsals. I know it doesn't seem much, but um, we can accomplish a lot in that time. So I think it was about 26 or something like that. Um, it's essentially three months rehearsal. Um, we will rehearse two nights a week. Um, the children's ensemble, which will be the workhouse kids and the pickpockets, will we'll do you guys um, from, what did I say, 6 till 7.30, and then you can go home and go to bed and go to school the next day. Um, and then the adults will be, um, depending on what we're doing that night, it might be 7, so you'll come in and do a half hour with the, with the kids, and then we'll do um, from... 7 or 7.30 through till 10. Um, just to get you guys, because essentially there are two casts. There's the young ones and there's the adult ensemble. Now when I say adult ensemble, um, that might be, you know, there might be some 16, 17 year olds in that, um, that just look a bit too old to be with the, with the youth, with the younger ones. Um, now, Sydney did uh, uh, let's go audition day first. Um, audition dates and times. So, adults and principals. So, principals, this will include Oliver and Dodger, even though they're, um, they're kids. Um, you'll audition on the 12th of June. Um, now, please bear in mind, I didn't realise this at the time, that is a long weekend. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> um, but in order to fit it in, <coughs> thought we had to do. Um, yeah, so uh, adults and principals, you'll audition on sa Saturday the 12th um, of June. Now, uh, what we've been doing for the last couple of shows with players is having a booking process. So you jump on the website, and uh, you can book an audition time. Say if you're sitting around here all day, as we used to do, going, oh my God, am I next, am I next, am I next, getting really nervous. Um, you'll book a time, there'll be 10 minute slots per person. So if you're auditioning for a couple of characters, um, we'll fit all those characters in, in that 10 minute slot. Um, you'll do your song and any reading that we need you to do within that 10 minutes. Um, There'll be a panel of us sitting in here, looking at you, staring, making you nervous. It's just what happens. Um, trust me, it's just as nerve wracking on that side of the desk as it is for you up here. Um, and then the children, um, on the 13th, we'll do all the children. Um, now, that'll be slightly different to the adult one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get you in, in groups, and we'll get you in, get you singing in groups and then we'll get you to um, do a little bit solo each as well. Just that first group thing will just get you a little bit comfortable if you have an audition for us before and then give us a little bit of a song. Now, if you don't know the song, just um, sing us happy birthday or something like that, just so we know that you can hold a bit of a tune. Yeah, yep. but we wouldn't be singing solo though. We'd be singing in a group. For the ensemble, yes. 
Um, but you'd be singing with but we'd like to hear you individually uh, yeah. anyway. Yeah, but um, I'm not a good solo person. Yeah. I don't like to do it for the audition, but in the production, yeah. what are you singing it with everyone? In the production, definitely, there'll, there'll be lots of ensembles singing, yeah. yeah. Um, then if we are going to do any callbacks for any of the principal roles, they'll happen on the Sunday afternoon after we have auditioned all the kids. Yep. Um, now, uh, on Monday, I'm hoping the, because, uh, uh, yeah, anyway, um, on Monday, the uh, booking process for the auditions will hopefully go live. Um, we've just got to finish configuring the website to do that. Um, and you'll be able to log in, book in your, uh, your, your time slot. Um, we'll get notified that you've booked in and we'll look forward to seeing you. Um, are there any fees? Not unless you get into the production. So you do not have to be a member to audition, but once you are cast, you need to become a financial member of the theatre. The other thing for this production, um, while not legally required, we are asking everyone to have a working with children's number who's going to be involved in the production. Um, that's, uh, that's the player's policy, which is above um, what the government has asked for, um, just for the protection of your children, so that we know there's no one crazy in the production. We just like to have that. <coughs> and that, you know, any, any, any product play in production where there's someone involved, whether it's sound, lighting, backstage, um, we always ask for that number. So just if, to if you're over that. 18. Yeah, if you're over 18, 18, you don't need a working with children. You don't, anyone over 18 needs a working with children check. They're really easy to get online. They're actually free. Yeah, yeah and yeah, they're so free for voluntary. This is voluntary, so your working with children check is free. Um, right. Do you guys want to say anything about the rehearsal process and the information and the audition day before we get on to character descriptions. The number one thing I want to say about auditions is every single one of us up here have been on through the audition process and we know how nerve wracking it is. I cry after most auditions so please don't um, feel the emotions that's fine but please like just go ahead and, and, and bring your best like show us the best that you can do um, choose the best bits of the song that, that, that you want to choose uh, well, so I like, yeah, like, um, show us what you can do and just um, push through those feelings of nerves because every single one of us has, has been through it and we, we all know that you're going to feel it. We all know that you're probably a little bit better than you're going to bring on your audition day. Um, I lose my voice often in, in auditions. I get so nervous. So just push through it and um, and, and bring your best and, and, yeah, don't forget to connect with the song and yeah. really play the character because even if you're a little bit tipsy or a little bit off, you can always fix that. Yeah. But as long as that's always in there, usually if you go a little bit off, but if it's just really delivering that character, that's kind of going to sell you. Nothing. Yes, and as, as you were saying before, if you can do an accent um, do yeah. it in your do audition, it. let us see, let us hear the accent. Um, I've stand written down next to most of the characters, like what kind of accent you can do. If you're not sure, just I'm on a British yeah. accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. This, is, this is one show where where accents are non-negotiable. We need the accents um, because of the time period we use. So. If you can't do one, we can work, we can help you yeah, yeah. figure one There's out. There's plenty of people around here. Yes, Steve. Um, it's, it mentions on here that the uh, text and song will be available on the website. Yes. Uh, under each character. Yeah, right? so when you, when you, uh, when you go onto the website, there'll be a button that says book your audition. Um, or audition information. When you go into the audition information, it will have this first page of stuff, and then it will have um, the character descriptions and links to to uh, the song, like the sheet music and um, the dialogue. Yes. With your audition, um, do you have uh, piano? Accompaniment, or how does that work? And do you well, do a section of the that song? Is, you and I apologise for this. That's a great question, and it's something that occurred to me this morning. You know, we have a rehearsal pianist, and uh, so, and she's playing in the show as well. Um, and I just have to discuss with Ben and Chantel 
uh, might be easier to have her record the the audition parts so we can just play them when she doesn't have to be here for the whole day. Um, I can talk to her. Yeah. I just want to break but I think you're interested in being here too. Yep. But I'll talk to her. We will have the music here, somebody to play it, or we'll have the person who's playing in the show record it. Yes, but we um, do a section of the song or we do the whole thing? Because you just mentioned uh, I yeah. like the song, so I just wanted to... Um, let's... Is um, if you could learn the whole song, sure. it would be great. Um, we will stop you once we've heard enough. Um, if you have a specific part that you want us to hear, <coughs> we'll skip to that bit and and do that. Given that Parker and Dan and think everybody's booking for auditions, maybe we can actually select yeah, certain select bars, bars. Yep. and get the tap record that or provide it, yeah. and that way they can practice. So it. the selected the selected bars will be on the information. On the website. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's something that just occurred to me this morning that I hadn't actually organised that part of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, any other questions about the information uh, about the audition day um, before we get into character descriptions? Um, generally like to call people. Um, call phone, yeah. I would rather call them, um, but if you prefer email, I can e we can email as well. Uh, but call call fine. Yeah. I prefer to I prefer to call people that way I yeah. know you it's a bit bit more personal touch. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Yeah, so I'll just go back to um, um, two minutes before. You put down Monday and Wednesday for your rehearsal days each week. Yeah. But when we open on the sixteenth ah, yes. twelve and four until yes. Monday, Wednesday that week. Yes. Yes. Thank you. There is one exception um, to that Monday, Wednesday, and it is the opening week of Are You Being Served, which we'll do a Tuesday, Thursday. Um, that's the only exception there, and it will it does it, it. It is actually highlighted on the rehearsal schedule as well, um, and then we'll go back to Monday, Wednesday um, for that. So, yes. Thanks, John. I did. Um, when we first, when we did the production 16, 17 years ago, um, the youngest one was eight. Now, we definitely don't want to go any younger than that. Um, Ken's a good guide. Um, if it's an eight-year-old that blows us away, um, you know, we'll take them. Um, if it's a, you know, um, if it's uh, if it's siblings and one's fifteen and one's eight, we'll probably take them if they if they're you know both both good in the audition. Um, there's yeah there's a few varying factors. Ken is sort of our guide. Um, I'm you know nine year olds. Yeah, you you're welcome to audition. We're not going to stop anyone, but our guide is that we're looking for around that ten. Great learning experience for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no worries. Uh, yes. Uh, for the Friday shows, how like how much earlier before the performance can you still arrive? Minimum one hour, so seven o'clock. We want you here no later than seven o'clock. Yep. Okay. Oh, last question. Yes. You can probably answer this one, but uh, which version of the play are you doing? If we wanted to Google it and look at the script or something. Uh now. Music Theatre International is where we've got the script from. It's, hang on, I might be able to tell you, it might be on here. Um, now, the soundtrack, Ben. So, um, as you know, guys, there's many different arrangements of, of the show out there. 
Uh, the oldest version we have is the 15 piece band. You can go from 8 piece right to 30. Um, I've listened to many soundtracks. The 2008 London Cup recording, I've found it's probably pretty close with all the big songs, you know, as you see yourselves, uh, Oliver, all that. It's probably a good one to listen to. The one with um, Rowan Atkinson, Burn Dorman, and what's the Penga? Um, I can't remember her name. Sorry, which one was that? 2008 London cast, the live one. I found it's quite good. All the big numbers are pretty close with the orchestrations and the range from the live itself. So the script will be very close to that one as well. Um, so it's, look, if you, you can't really see it properly, but that's the, that's the front cover to the script. Um, you can probably find a PDF. Yeah, somewhere. I have found that one online, actually. I um, didn't put that one. There's naughty people that yeah. put the PDFs up online. Please, thanks for everyone. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's um, copyright renewed 2005, if that's any help. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay. Character descriptions. We'll start with uh, our title character, Oliver. Uh, workhouse boy, 10 to 13, is sort of what we're looking for, that age range. Um, uh, you need for your voice not to have broken voice. Now, it is a male role. Um, not something that we're going to sway into having a girl for, because it is because it is such a large role. Oliver will be dual cast, so there'll be two Olivers, um, and they'll play alternate alternate nights, um, and it will be an even amount. One Oliver will get opening show, one Oliver will get closing show, so they both get that sort of prestige of, of that. Uh, he is quite innocent. Um, there's a, a slight cheeky side you see to him occasionally, but there's a lot of innocence that um, has come from growing up in the workhouse and not seeing the outside world. Um, he's, when he gets to London, he's just amazed with all the bright colour, razzle dazzle of it, um, which is why he's so easily swayed into to going with Dodger to, to live this glamorous life. Um, audition song for that is Where Is Love? Um, so that's quite, should be quite a well-known song from the show, if you know it. Um, uh, yeah. Very, yeah, very sweet. So, yeah, soprano. Soprano. Um, the Artful Dodger. The Artful Dodger. Now, uh, Street Kid. He is very cheeky. Uh, he knows he's clever. He's very good at what he does. Um, he's Fagan's right hand man. He's the top dog in the thieves. Um, we've got 14 to 18 listed on it. Now, these are playing ages. So if you're a little bit older or a little bit younger and you look that age, feel free to audition for that part. Um, with Dodger, now, depending on who we get, in some shows, Dodger is dual cast, like Oliver, and you match up an Oliver and a, Do and a Dodger for each cast. Uh, my personal feeling is that if we get a 16, 17 year old Dodger, we don't need to dual cast them. They'll be able to handle the workload um, of that role fine by themselves. Um, if we get two 14 year olds that blow us away, Oliver will probably end up dual cast. This will be a chat we'll have with the with with uh, those boys when we when we cast that part we'll be like, are you happy to be dual cast? If they're not, that's fine. Thank you. You can be the ensemble if you like. Um, Dodgers a male role? Dodgers Dodgers it's hard because of the time period it's set in. Dodgers, <coughs> for me, Dodgers definitely a guy. Uh, if we were going to cast a girl, it would be a girl playing a boy. Um, because I can't see it being not a boy, unfortunately. Um, yeah, this is not a show, and it's actually within the 
rights that you can't alter the time period, which we've done and showed before. Um, consider yourself. That's his main song. He leads that with the ensemble, so that's his audition song. Also a very well-known song from the show. Um, Fagan, head of the Den of Thieves. Um, he is, uh, yeah, an older man. Uh, Sly Fox, I got there. Con man, he's kind of lovable. Yeah, yeah. You you feel for Fagan at the end when everything's taken away from him. Um, he is uh, a very Jewish man. Sorry, a bit of a rogue. A bit of a rogue, yeah. Um, he's a smooth talker, you know, very, yeah, very much the con man, very much the con man to anyone and everyone, you cannot trust him. Um, uh, reviewing the situation is his song to sing, um, which is very, um, it's towards, it's at the end of the show where he's contemplating his next step and where he's going to go from here, so it's, um, it's the struggle within himself of what to do. Does he does he stay on the path of, of of being a criminal, or does he turn to being a <coughs> being a good and honest man? Um, and thus, says you can guess which way. Nancy. Um, Nancy. 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 Nancy uh, was one of Fagan's. So one of Fagan's kids. She grew up with Fagan, now works as a barmaid. She drops in. She's, you know, um, uh, she's, yeah, essentially a, a Victorian age showgirl, really. Um, she's, yeah, um, she's got to have a good belt on her. Um, there are some very strong songs for Nancy very emotional songs for Nancy, um, so the acting side of Nancy needs to be just as good, just as good as the singing. So, um, and have a bit of movement to her as well, because there's uh, there's a few songs where she'll have a bit of bit of dancing in it. Um, there's not going to be a huge, like, as opposed to other shows where, you know, there's big choreographed dance numbers, the dancing in this isn't going to be as much as other shows. It's more choreographed movement um, for that. Yes. Um, Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Um, Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Um, what was the song about next time? This will probably go for about another five, five, ten minutes. Yep. Um, as long as he needs me, that's your audition song. It is a showstopper, that one. Um, I think it's, especially if you're going to audition for this role, especially look at the end of the song, I think. Yeah, yeah that's the big, there's a big powerful ending to it, so, yeah. so look at that. Powerful number of implied shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's the uh, lead the audience in tears song, so. When Dan says that she needs to have a good belt, what he means by that is such a powerful um, vocal um, range that she can get across a 15 piece orchestra without um, Michael Payne. Yeah. yeah, so we will have, but yes, <laughs> but, yeah. but we'll preferable that, yeah. yes, it's preferable that you can project, well. project very much so. Yeah. Um, uh, Phil Sykes. Not sorry, oh, yes. before you do go on, uh, can you just um, let them know about Nancy? It is a domestic violence oh, yes. situation. Yeah, yeah. So, so Nancy is in, yeah. Nancy is in a domestic abuse relationship. Um, so you have to be comfortable playing that. Um, I do stress that there is times when she is beat on by her mother, by her, by Bill. If she gets to get killed, yes. Yeah. That too, that too. She does, what a spoil the end. Yes, yeah, if you get in, Nancy's dead. <laughs> so, um, you've got to be okay with that, and that, yeah, that can trigger a lot of 
Um, Phil Sykes, he is the one that does the abusing. Um, he also used to work for Fagan. He still works for Fagan to a degree. Um, he still stuff and Fagan acts as his fence. Um, so uh, he is, yeah, the mo one of the most feared criminals in London at the time. He's a sociopath. Yeah. Sociopath. Yeah. Not very nice at all. Um, now, it's not in the movie, but he does have the song called My Name, which is very, it's supposed to be very intimidating. He sings about how intimidating he is, how he can just look at someone and they'll just go, yeah, she's my wallet. Um, so, uh, now, while you can, there's two ways I see um, Phil Sykes. He's either a very stocky, you know, rough guy, um, beefy rough guy, or he's the tall, thin, intimidating, you know, creepy yeah. style of intimidating. So, what do you look at me about that? <laughs> I look to see whether you guys were in agreement. Yeah, I am. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, no. I've got to give off. So, even if you don't just fit that description, if you can portray, portray that. Yeah. Yeah, if you can freak me out, make me feel a bit uncomfortable, you're good. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Make the audience feel uncomfortable. Skin crawling. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, <laughs> if you're five foot two but can intimidate us, oh that's great. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So definitely, um, he doesn't come in. I don't think he actually comes into the second act. Yeah. Uh, he comes in at the end of Boom Pa Pa, which is the opening song to Act Two. So it's not a huge role, but it's a it's a powerful it's, it's a powerful role. Um, <coughs> Mr. Bumble, Mr. Bumble is the head of the well, the master of the workhouse. He looks after the children. He hates children. <laughs> he hates children, particularly Oliver. Um, uh, large, pompous corrupt bureaucrat. That's a really fitting description of him. Um, he, yeah. He it, his wife, Karma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, it's a role where he is traditionally, for lack of a better term, a larger gentleman. A larger gentleman. Um, and that's to, that's to offset how the kids look. The kids um, are underfed, and he is eating all the food for himself. <laughs> Essentially, yeah, it's to show the wealth and the poor. Um, so, yeah, um, "Boy for Sale" is his his main song where he's <coughs> selling all of us. So, yeah, um, that's that's his song. It's it's also not it's it's a role where there's a few bits that pop in and out. He pops in and out th throughout the show. Um, he the corruption of him goes as far as when they find out Oliver's actually spoiler alert um, <laughs> the grandson of the rich guy that he was accused of robbing. Uh, him and his wife to be uh, go ha. Ah, we know, we know, we know where we sold the kid off to. We'll go get him and collect the reward for for, for finding him. Um, that brings me on to Widow Corny. Widow Corny is no worries. That's all good. Um, check the video when it comes up on the Facebook page and the website. Um, no worries. Yes, yes, the children's ensemble is male. Excellent. Excellent. Um, so Widow Corny is uh, the she's the female that basically the, the matron that looks after the children at night and stuff in the in the workhouse. Um, she has a bit of a thing for Mr. Bumble, so they end up getting married uh, throughout the show. She has a, a the great song "I Shall Scream." where she's flirting with Mr. Bumble, but pretending like she's not. 
Um, Paul, miss the fumble off screen if you do that. Don't, don't, you know, cuddle me and things like that. So, uh, yes, she uh, is a soprano with a with a big belt in that song as well. Um, both those two are both Cockney accents. There. Um, yes. Uh, let's move on to Bet. Bet is Nancy's friend. She generally appears when Nancy appears most of the time. Um, it's it's a small little fun role for for um, I'd like to say an up and comer, someone who hasn't really had a lead role before. It's kind of that push into into that. Um, she has a few lines sung by herself in a few songs. Um, Idolise, yeah, she wants to be Nancy. She wants to be Nancy. Um, yeah. So that's sort of the that's the the main ensemble, uh, the main lead. Um, these next lot are uh, they're sort of in one off scenes. So you, uh, we start off with Mr. Sowerberry. <coughs> Um, Mr. and Mrs. Sowerberry are the, uh, they own the undertakers that purchase Oliver. Um, they buy Oliver as a, um, to walk behind the children's coffins so that they get more sympathy. Um, they have a great song called That's Your Funeral. It's sort of the comedic, comedic part in it. Uh, yeah, it's it's the comedy. They're, they're they're a little bit of a comedy duo. He's a drunk and yeah, everything. So, uh, small roles. If you if you get that role and you want to be in the ensemble as well, I think we're open to that um, because, like I said, it is a sort of one off. I think they I think they appear twice. Um, they appear at the start when they buy Oliver, and then once. Uh, Bumble goes back and goes, I need the kid back. And they go, he ran away. So. Yeah, so most of those smaller roles can go into the ensemble. Is there a thing yeah. on the, is there a pick button? Like, uh, you know, yes. you get, is there yeah. like the go in the ensemble type yeah. thing if you've got these smaller roles yeah. um, when you audition? Yeah. Um, let us know if you absolutely do not want to go into the ensemble. You only want to um, go for one of these yeah. roles. So. That doesn't mean you won't get those roles. No. Just means we know not to put you in those numbers. Yeah. Uh, Noah Claypole. Noah's in uh, this is one. He's in one scene. He's the guy that uh, he hates. He despises the fact that they've got this new boy into the into the um, Undertakers. Uh, he just picks on Oliver and torments him and and roughhouses him a bit. Um, he doesn't have any singing by himself. So if you want to be part of the ensemble, uh, we're going to get you to sing and sing yourself. That's going to be the ensemble song that we're going to sing off by the end of the day. But um, it's sort of the better, it's one of the better known songs, and it's it's an ensemble song. So um, Charlotte is the daughter of, of the Sowerberries. She and and Noah are a bit of a, a bit of an item, and they both sort of pick on Oliver as well. Um, they're sort of instrumental in him wanting to run away and 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 bringing on the song where it's loved. Because nobody's shown all of us some love, and yeah. Um, also, not not a singing role, so you don't have to be a fantastic singer for that. That those two are more acting acting roles. Um, Mr. Brownlow is the who turn, he's the guy that gets pickpocketed, um, and it turns out to be Oliver's grandfather. So he has a bit of a role in the end of the first act and then into the into the um, second act in a bit more. So, uh, elderly gentlemen, um, if, you, if you don't have <coughs> the shoulders we'd like you to, we'll age you up. Um, it is an acting role, it doesn't require singing. So, uh, yeah. Um, but, if, uh, you'll probably end up being Walking through uh, in consider yourself, they'll probably you'll probably be in that. Um, so yeah, you'll need to at least hum that song. <laughs> um, yeah, so preferably 
uh, would rather you see. Um, but yeah, crowds <coughs> will show up in those London crowd seats just to establish you as their prime presenting competition. Uh, Dr. Grimwig, um, very small role. He just comes and checks on Oliver um, to check on his health once uh, uh, before he's adopted by, by Mr. Brownlow. Uh, Mrs. Bedwin, uh, she, uh, she's Mr. Brownlow's housekeeper. She does sing a reprise of Where Is Love, sitting by Oliver's bedside. Um, so while he's, he's asleep, she opens the scene by singing that song. Um, and then he wakes up and yeah, she goes, oh, you're gonna stay here. Um, then we move on to Fagan's kid in the, Kids in the Workhouse Kids. Um, we're going male and female for the kids. Um, so when they're in the workhouse though, they will be dressed as boys. Um, and then uh, when they're pickpockets, they can be a bit more girly. Um, but you'll all still be sort of dressed rag, rag, raggedy, raggedy and rough. Yeah, more tomboyish. Um, now within that, there is actually, um, there is a small acting role that uh, for one of the kids, which is sort of Dodger's best friend, who's uh, Charlie is his name. Um, so he has a few lines here and there about um, different things. So that will just probably be pulled from, from what we see at the audition. We'll go, that's a Charlie. Uh, so, if you're just auditioning for the, for the children's ensemble, Food Glorious Food is what we'd like to hear from you, which is the opening of the show. Uh, yeah, uh, and then the adult ensemble, uh, we've got ages 15 up, because we know that some 15 year olds don't look like kids anymore. They sort of, they look adultish, or well, older. So, uh, consider yourself is, is that, now within there, there's the song, um, Who Will Buy? There are, there's uh, the Rose Cellar, Strawberry Cellar, Milkmaid, Knife Grinder, and The Long Song Cellar. Um, they have a bit of a quintet, yeah. quintet. Oh, sorry. Um, of, uh, there's just a little bit in that song where it's, it's them, um, <laughs> it showcases them. The long song seller has one line and they sing, who will buy? I know that because I was the long song seller. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you've got, you've got those, those five that they, I think they start the show <coughs> from memory uh, and then the ensemble come in. Um, Oliver comes in and then the ensemble come in and it's a bright, happy morning Ra, ra, ra. Yeah. Really Happy. Yeah. 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 So it's a big number. So yeah. So part of what we'll part of what we'll do to sort of convey those different moods is in the workhouse it'll be sort of darkier and gingier mood lighting, um, and then when we get to the street scenes for like London and who will buy, it's going to be bright happy lighting. Um, that's sort of all the characters. Um, yeah, um, I don't know what else to say really. Um, the, or, the the reading pieces, when we do the readings with you in in the um, audition, those pieces will be up on the website. If you can memorise as much as you can, that'd be great. We understand that, you know, it takes people longer than two weeks to memorise something or lines or whatever. So, uh, if you, you know, if you need to have it there as a guide, great, but um, try, and, try and do your best accent as possible on the auditions. Um, we can listen to that and go, that's great, needs a little bit of work, but that'll work for us. Um, <coughs> In the auditions, well, I, I hope I'm speaking for everyone, I'm not too fast if, if, I mean, I know they say ideally don't have words in front of you or anything, but I have mental blanks. And 
I'll just forget mm. words. And, so if you've got your words in front of you, it's like you're really showing your character. I would rather see that than you going, oh my God, oh my God, I've got to remember every word and then forget a word or like, like I would rather you have the words in front of you and not stress and do a good um, audition than not have the words in front of you and like, yeah, so I'd if you need, the words if you need yeah. the words to show us your best, then have the words, because I want to see your best. We want to see your best. Yeah, yeah. Um, we know that it's hard to remember. To read the well, they have scripts that you can read off? Or? On the day? Yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah. We'll, have the, we'll, have the, um, we'll have the readings there as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they're on the website, and we'll have them here as well. So, right. Sorry, did you continue? Yeah, no, just a simple question. How many are off in the cast? So we're looking at around about 15 kids. And about the same for the adult ensemble. Around about 30. Okay. Yeah. So mm. essentially, we do essentially have two casts. Yeah. It is children, adults. Yeah. If, uh, if you're auditioning for one of the major casts, which this was, do they then, I'm just thinking about tickets for long weekend, do they then also have to come on the Sunday? No. Sort of no. Sort of um, just to indicate when you fill in the, um, the audition. Uh, Registration. Um, just tick. I'd like to be in the ensemble if I don't get a part. Okay, sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we won't make you come back and yeah. do it again no. the next day. All right. Yeah. 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 And if you can't, if, if <coughs> you can't make the callbacks, like if you're going to the late and you can't make the callbacks, tell us then and there. Um, and yeah, we'll, 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 we'll ask we'll you to do some extra say, stuff. Yeah. Same. Same with if you can't make the day, just let us know. Or if you can't make, if all the audition times that you want you can fit in a book, let us know and we'll try and arrange something. Um, yeah. We'll try and be as flexible as we can. Yeah. One, knowing it's a long weekend, and two, because I'm sure there'll be lots of times you have to. You only need to book one slot adults. If you're going for three characters, only book one slot. We don't need you to book five, yeah? Um, there's going to be a number of school students, um, yourself as a teacher, free book holidays in July. Is that going to pose a problem for rehearsals? Um, uh, it could be a week. It, yeah, we'll do that. yeah, I understand that. Um, we'll work around that the best we can. Um, given that it's July, it's fairly early on in the rehearsal process. <sighs> schedule fairly well blocked out of what we're going to do but I'm also super flexible about working with who's there. Generally what what it will be is I'll uh, I have um, we're going to look at these songs this rehearsal we're going to block these scenes this next rehearsal type thing um, but if we need to switch those or we need to move those or I need to block the scene and then add someone in later. Look, it's uh, we understand that this isn't everyone's professional job, so uh, we have to be accommodating as well um, for you guys, as much as you have to sort of be a little bit accommodating for us as well um, in terms of your availability. Yeah, but if you've pre-booked a holiday, I'm not going to go. Can you cancel your holiday so you can come to rehearsal? Just also, Dan, um, the show is actually open by October school holidays. That's true. And the October long weekend. Yeah. That's true. So that's one we won't be forgiving on. You need to be in for those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. Once again, apologies for that. You think someone would have pointed it out to us. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, look, in a way, that's great for the kids because, you know, they, those school holidays, they can kids in shows and they're exhausted the next day, you know, they can have yeah. to sleep in, so. Yeah, it means they don't have to go to school on the Monday yeah. after doing opening weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the last week's term. Yes. Oh, that's the last week's term. My bad. It's the last week's term. Who cares? Um, I heard they're running some workshops to teach kids how to pickpocket down at Sam Green, is that true? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Sponsored by Hastings Council. <laughs> the inclusion team are going to do it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, great. That'd be great. Oh, look, we'll definitely have something like that during rehearsals. Um, I would, I would definitely. I'm going to hope that we can get maybe a number or two together that we can do like a flash mob type thing where we may oh, even sorry. plan some strategic people around that get pickpocketed oh, actually, of cast members. Actually, so Dan, um, the Players Theatre are expecting, oh, well, we have an open day on the 28th of August and they are hoping for the cast of Oliver to, you know, do a little scene or a song to yeah. have something ready to go for that open day. So okay. hope, uh, like, as many of the cast available yeah. for that No, so when you when you fill in the audition uh, application, application registration yeah. booking, um, there'll be a bit there that says what previous experience do you have, just listed in there. Um, we don't need headshots or things like that. Um, I know some I know some companies go around town go yeah send us your resume. Um, we just want a little bit of information about yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us what you've done. Um, not like any any experience you have, you know, dance training, singing training, acting training, um, previous shows, things like that. There'll be a spot on this booking process for you to do that. Yeah, is it online? It will be online. So on the Players Theatre website, um, on the home page there'll be, how do I do it? I, uh, uh, there's a link to the book, book, book an audition. Um, it'll also be on the, there's a there's an Oliver page for the website, so it'll be on that as well, um, under the auditions tab. And, so. um, can I have a question? Yeah, that would be good. Yes, so guys, uh, for the principals, whilst it's not mandatory, having the ability to read music would be a huge advantage. Um, from a music direction point of view, trying to work with some of the time signatures we have in the show, if you don't understand a bit of music theory, it does make a job a lot harder um, to remember the producers for some of the issues we have yes. um, So it's probably not a requirement, but at least have an ability to either pick it up or a fundamental base to understand. If you don't have an understanding, please ask. We can, we can, we can definitely help. I've been in lots of shows, so I'm very, I'm very, I mean, I know it does help, but the team are professional enough to show you, like if you can't read music, like I've And look, Ben and Chantel will work together to make sure what we're singing and what the band are playing are the same thing and work together. Um, and if, you know, if, if Ben needs to alter something, he'll let Chantel know. If Chantel needs to alter something, he'll let, she'll let Ben know. And I'll be in a lot of the band rehearsals, so I have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll be welcome to come to the band. Any other questions that you don't want to ask publicly, come up and see us and we'll try and answer them the best we can. Um, Paul. Just to have a mention, both of them, some of them are in America and there's a couple of missing. Um, from the Mr. Bumble and Hagen, do they tell you the background? So, <laughs> Fagan's missing because, to me, Fagan's vocal range is Yeah. Bumble Fagan's a little bit. Yeah. Because on the YouTube, you'll hear the sound. You'll remember what it is. Yeah. 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 So, 
Baritone, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, to me, Fagan's probably a little bit more fluid with that yeah. because if you need to, you can retricative most of the song. Yeah. yeah. So, with so your speak sync. Speak the light with Sorry? No. It's just Absolutely. a walk on, check the check the heart rate. But he'll probably come to the ensemble. Yeah. information on your audition thing? Yeah. Right, I prefer acting. Yep. Cool. Uh, if there's nothing else, um, thank you all very much for coming. Um, book tickets to Wing Rock You. Five more shows. Five more shows. Five. If you want tickets, probably go for Friday or Saturday next week. Next week. Yeah, yeah. And thank you everyone for coming and tell anyone else.